All right, I'm recording, and I am streaming. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Momentum Podcast. Thank you for being here. We're here with Moody, the founder of Moody Designs, Metaverse, and VR Technologies. We do this every Monday, and you can enter the Metaverse at steeloworld.com or find out more if you have questions about Web3. Thank you for being here with us, Moody. How are you today? Yes, thank you. Uh, Hey, everyone. This is the Moody speaking to you. Uh, You might be wondering, uh, like, who's the Moody? Well, I'm just an artist, a technologist, and an architect. And, uh, yeah, I'm self-taught, and I am the founder of Moody Science Metaverse Studio. Nice. Can you speak up just a little bit or get closer to the mic just to make sure it's loud sure. enough? Sure. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. So, uh, Moody, I've gotten the pleasure to meet you in Web3, um, in spaces, in two-dimensional spaces like on X. Uh, I've seen you in the 3D in uh, social metaverses. Um, I've gotten to follow you because of that, and that's like the power of this whole beautiful new internet. Um, It's really nice to meet you and and get to dive deep a little bit um, deeper into what you're doing. Um, So I was checking out your website, and I noticed like your aesthetics are just incredibly beautiful really amazing stuff um, that you're doing, that you're creating. You've been doing this for 15 years. Um, You mentioned being self-taught. Can you describe your journey, how you found um, any 3D software, and what led you to this imagination that that you're at now? Okay. Actually, it's a long story, but I'll try to summarize it. Like, uh, I utilize the most... Uh, out of Unity and Blender and ancient Photoshop 7.0. If you know that software was in the 90s. So uh, I, I really dig the core of computer graphics. And uh, I, I, I used to be a brand uh, designer and identity uh, developer. I worked as a a freelancer for uh, like 11 years. Uh, I have hundreds of reviews from customers all over the world. And uh, yeah, I use this technology to to develop immersive 3D virtual reality experiences that transport users to uh, like anywhere beyond space and time, recreated uh, historical present or future civilization. And uh, these experiences are accessible through web browsers, uh, through moniverse.com. And also, I I intend to build on spatial later on on my journey, but uh, I I just like to learn one thing at at a time. So, yeah, that's uh, that's how I came to actually start building in the metaverse. uh, Through moniverse, I learned their SDK. And uh, I already had begun the uh, l- learning Blender uh, journey, and I didn't know anything about Unity at the time. So I, I have already made several worlds in Blender, but I didn't know how to preview them correctly. Like, it's just, after all, just a render, just an image, and I was able to do that even using Photoshop years ago. So once I got to know Unity, I, I, I knew that there is a lot of things to learn about optimization and poly count and texture sizes and making light maps and lighting. And oh, yeah, like I kind of learning 3D all over again, but for game design. And what helped me with that was the uh, Moniverse SDK because they, they actually, it's, it's just as simple as you know, uh, dragging and dropping your Unity files and it just live and working. So yeah, I've been uh, doing that to achieve my mission and uh, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I really noticed a lot of detail in your work. Um, It's really beautiful. It, 
um, it just it just screams detail and um, the colors, the lighting, the reflections, the textures. Um, very 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 beautiful stuff. Um, how, would you know when Unity was first like created? Well, historically about Unity itself, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was. It was I think two thousand six. Let's ask uh, something around that. I don't know. Wow, um, I can't believe like the amount of technology. You know, like we were watching movies. You know, for the first time, um, in three D and like you know, like Toy Story and everything. And now here we are. The you know, uh, it's in everyone's home. We can all like create and everything. How how do you feel about where you are now, um, and where do you see yourself going? Okay, where we are now. Um, well, first uh, with Moody like, Designs. Yeah. Well, uh, our mission uh, is first off to preserve cultural uniqueness and identity. So we see the metaverse as a platform to showcase the diversity of human culture uh, throughout history and uh, amplifying voices that have been uh, marginalized. So uh, we also are looking forward uh, to promote sustainable future, like preserving the planet we live on right now is, is my highest priority because whether or not like th there are some, uh, what do you call them, environmental uh, activists who corrupt stuff, but that's not what I'm about. What I'm about is the actual planet, actual sustainable living. And uh, our projects like the vision of sustainable Egypt in 2030, uh, the one with huge pyramids uh, demonstrate the uh, the commitment to building a better world uh, using uh, renewable energy and uh, uh, all the 17 goals of sustainable development. Uh, that, and that's that's what I truly care about. And also it's a chance to showcase uh, architectural marvels uh, through virtual tourism. Like uh, I, I have made a couple of spaces already, if you can see them, they're live on Mona and uh, I really like to take this chance to preserve the kind of Arabian culture and I'm, I'm from Egypt by the way and I live in Cairo Egypt right next to the pyramids so I get to see in the horizon every day it's just magical so we want to make these wonders accessible to everyone while being uh, like mindful of inclusive inclusivity like everyone uh, no matter where they are from, they can just uh, access these uh, kind of triple A game quality uh, immersive experiences. And uh, like now, I assume that not everyone listening to this interview is familiar with the metaverse, so or, or doesn't understand uh, what it fully like means. So let me start from scratch by explaining what is and uh, what we at Moody Designs are all about. So uh, Metaverse is a new uh, like domain for creating spatial experiences. So uh, everything you see in real life uh, from pyramids that were built thousands of years ago, uh, ruins of ancient cultures, whatever, uh, the Metaverse is essentially a network of interconnected and immersive three-dimensional virtual worlds where users can like interact with each other and the environment. Also, uh, like most people doesn't know nowadays that you can just go to Ready Player Me and take a selfie and the AI will craft a 3D uh, virtual character for you that, that are interoperable throughout uh, every metaverse platform, whether it's Spatial or Mona or Hyperfy or whatever. And uh, yeah, to me, it's it's a new world to be built. And uh, I kind of like to uh, not limit myself to a specific time period, but uh, rather venture throughout space and time and 
uh, explore ancient cultures and future cities and civilizations and maybe other planets, however. So that's kind of like the our, our vision of the metaverse and our mission is to um, weave or imbued uh, themes of, of sustainable development within the narrative and make it like uh, fun to play and um, yeah, uh, we add just layers to uh, of challenge and reward and narrative to make it more entertaining. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, you know, I love how you talked about an interconnected space where you have these spatial experiences. Um, when I put down my virtual headset one day, I realized I'm like, wow, I'm using this VR headset to go into the screen because the spatial experience was on my desktop as a game. And then the VR, you know, it, the that platform had an app in VR spatial so i i I put i just got out of a concert put it down and i looked at the screen and everyone's dancing in there and i realized whoa i was just in there you know yeah (laughs) and uh you know that's an incredible thing um and then for the vision of you know for your vision i do see a lot of ancient culture uh, inspired in your work. I do see a lot of so like social consciousness in your work. Um, really, really e- epic, if I could say. And they do look Thank like you. they do look like AAA experiences. Um, I can't wait to see what happens and where we go from here. With that being said, like I love, I love your thoughts on the metaverse, and I loved how you explain it. Um, you know, because it's really interesting how we have um, so many opinions. You know, like you know, is is Call of Duty a metaverse? You know, people go and mm-hmm. have a spatial experience. You know, but there's a specific thing that you're doing there. You know, and you're uh, exactly you, there's, there's, you don't have to shoot or bomb people right. uh, inside a game. You just uh, all you need is to hang out with people and explore spaces. Like you said, mm-hmm. the VR is the future. Yeah. Whether we wanted it or not, it's coming. Your phone will be replaced with a VR goggles. It will yeah. be accessible and cheap for everyone to buy. Yeah. So it, it's an opportunity because I uh, think some, I... some people see. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be something that's like cheap enough for everyone to buy, but I think it might be something for like now. I think something that it's like like our cell phones turn into glasses. Our glasses turn into contacts, and then maybe the, the contacts. Really immersive yeah, it's just crazy. Like I think it's all gonna be one. You know, I, the computer won't exist. You know, I really do think like this monitor in front of me. I don't think it's gonna be the way in 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 thirty years from now. Um, I think everyone's gonna have their own monitor in their own body. But um, who knows? I don't know. Well, it's just fun talking yeah, about Yeah, the it. future is, is unpredictable. <laughs> and and the, if you see the actual acceleration that we're going with. Right. It's like doubling. the invention of AI specifically. Like, it's amazing. And it, it's also helping people and engineers develop more, uh, like, uh, more, more immersive devices and uh, more uh, complex software. Yeah. So it's really exciting to see what's what's going to be in the future. But for now, we take the opportunity. Like right? it, it's already there right now. You're in spatial. You just put on your yeah. VR goggles and you're in there. And that in itself, like the uh, being able to travel anywhere in the world and be fully immersed inside VR yep. is uh, is where. Because I've I've been I've been uh, like I had an appetite for design since I was five years old. Mm-hmm. I had an appetite for for uh, drawing with pencil and paper and and create virtual worlds on on the paper. Because for me it was a canvas and anything we can think of right. can be drawn down and and imagined. And and I kind of dreamed this future years ago when I was just wow. a child. I said. Uh, I play Virtual Cop, you know, this this game where you shoot uh, thugs and reload, reload, and you just keep <laughs> shooting them. It's already rigged, and you're already going in a specific path. 
And at the same time, there was um, SQL software. It was like uh, the Messenger today or WhatsApp. And this SQL software allowed me as a child to talk to people from China and US and UK. And I thought, wait a minute, like we have these two technologies. We can talk to each other from a distance. And at the same time, we can we can be in virtual 3D worlds. So I already had this appetite before the technology was was even uh, available for, for, for everyone to build. So once once you can imagine my feelings right now, uh, living in 2024 and crafting uh, uh, virtual virtual realities exactly how I want them to be, and they even look better than I want them to be. They look because I'm not drawing here. I'm not coloring. I'm not shading and drawing shadows and highlights like I learned to do in, in my past. But I'm actually I'm just deciding how things will look like, and they look exactly. Uh, they they got automatically rendered using the Blender. Uh, and, and unity. So uh, it's just a matter of dreaming. And that's something I'm really good at. I, I know how to dream. And for me, it's really exciting. I never waste a day without creating something new. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting times for me. That takes a, you know, that, that takes a lot of consciousness. Um, I, th I believe like, you know, to think like that, to have an imagination like that, it's really, really, really special. Um, it's, it, you know, it comes from I, a, a very divine place. Um, and earlier you were talking about how we are here. It is here. We're here building it. We're, you know, break, uh, breaking the barrier every day. Um, we're on your website right now, Moody. I'm like just scrolling through, scrolling down. Um, checking yeah, out all, all your it. all your beautiful t designs. Um, shout out to everybody here. Thank you for being here. Um, we're with the Moody from Moody Designs, and we're just talking about everything. Um, you know, philosophy, metaverse designs, his art, his work, and his uh, commitment to the space. And um, so, basically, Moody, you know, I was thinking about you were talking about sustainability and you were talking about I, sustainability. And I think that right now, you know, they say we, you know, we've peaked, you know, we cannot make any more, we, the earth can't handle much more is what they say, Yeah, you know, and, it, um, it could be scary and it could be also, uh, uh, transformative. We, we never know how it's going to go. Yeah, here's what I think. I think because of the metaverse, because of this virtual shift, you know, um, I think like we're I think we're done printing money. I think, you know, we're mm -hmm. people, kids are spending instead of money on a new sweater, a new whole outfit for school, they're spending money on virtual assets, digital assets for their avatars in within the platform mm -hmm. that they spend the time with, with their friends. So the shift, I think, has a, is, is sh it's shifting where, you know, where we are uh, transitioning as the internet now has become f three dimensional. So I wanted to ask you, um, you know, what are some of your challenges right now? Um, you know, you might have a lot of these beautiful, sp you might have all these beautiful spaces, beautiful thoughts, but we have to know, is there any challenges in, in your designs right now? Um, any limitations, uh, anything you wish you could do more of or et cetera? Well, of course, the metaverse isn't without challenges uh, and also ethical considerations. Uh, so at Moody Designs, we, we are committed to ensuring the metaverse develops as, as a force for good. Uh, and uh, having serene and nice and beautiful experiences, whether it's a futuristic uh, metropolis, even uh, like uh, huge constructions, whatever. But like you said, uh, what, once people get immersed inside the metaverse, they will kind of lift the planet 
uh, breathe a little bit. And uh, one of the challenges is, uh, is how to optimize the space to be able to even add bigger walls and, and more details and more uh, realism uh, and to be able to access this via web browser. So uh, uh, optimization is, is one of the biggest challenges right now because uh, you, you're going to have uh, to, to create a space that's playable on VR and mobile and, and web browsers. So optimization is one of the challenges. Uh, accessibility is, is also one of the challenges because we realize that the metaverse could potentially uh, replicate uh, like existing inequalities. So we are actively exploring ways to ensure everyone has equal uh, opportunities to experience and benefit from it. And uh, it's not just about uh, playing games and having fun. It's about art and culture and education and business and marketing and uh, just beyond entertainment yeah. it's real it life also like we believe that education is a key to navigating the complexities of of uh, our world and uh, we must approach with open eyes uh, critically evaluating the potential impact and uh, shipping it into a tool for our for for positive change and power of good over bad you know just leave yeah. it like that Good. That, that's great. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing comes without its challenges. Nothing great. That's for sure. Um, yeah, but the opportunities are equally uh, promising as well. Like uh, mm -hmm. everything you can think about and collectively think about. That's why I always uh, seek feedback from, from my fellow creators at Mone Discord because uh, I don't want to be. I, I, I have infinite appetite for building walls, but mm -hmm. I want to make things that people want. So let me ask you this question. I'll be the interviewer for a moment. What would you like to see in the metaverse? What, what are you dreaming about that you want me to uh, create a tool for it? Because I'm creating anyway. Right. <laughs> I would say um, what I would want more of, like today I saw a post. Um, my friends uh, over at Aura XR, they were four of them in a room, in a cool room, and they had an app. So in VR, you can tap on this app. It had like 50, like 50 little circles, and it's like mm -hmm. it make an AI logo, uh, play... Uh, CD player so you tap and then there's a CD player there's a song you know there's songs there you could go you in VR I'm tapping skipping songs uh, I want to see more UI in VR I want to see more UI yeah. uh, within yeah. these spaces and I think that takes a little bit of you know a lot more coding and unity integration um, and I want to see more like blockchain UI, you know, where I could mint an NFT in the metaverse, you know, like I want to be able to transact through PayPal, uh, whatever, you know, that would be really, really cool. Oh my God. Okay. So let me, let me remind you that, uh, that actually Moody Designs is, is VR and metaverse technologies. So metaverse, we, we spoke about it's spatial, it's hyperfi, it's decentraland, it's Mona, it's so many other nifty islands and so many other platforms. That's the metaverse to me. But VR is a whole new uh, area of, of, uh, mm. of exploration. So currently I'm working on, on a fully immersive and, and uh, narrative-based game like a single-player game, fancy themed adventure game set in ancient uh, Egyptian world. So uh, in that in that uh, part, in that uh, stop in my journey, uh, I also have to learn C-sharp programming and visual scripting. I already put my fingers in it, and I made some cool stuff, drivable cars, uh, animating override uh, player animations. And so... UI, yeah, I, I, I'm currently, uh, I made some UI, by the way, in, in my uh, Eldoria homepage, 
like the 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 default uh, uh, what do you call it in in VR? I mean the splash screen, uh -huh. and. And uh, I, I made some interesting UI stuff uh, that uh, it, it, it tracks your eyes. And whenever you look at the bottom of your palm, um, like uh, a tablet-like device uh, appears once, once your eye uh, recasting in this specific uh, part of your palm. And your hands are tracked as well. So you can just look at your hand and you will see like a tablet device coming out of your hand and then you can push it with your fingers and and uh, change the levels, uh, pause the game, stuff like that. So that's that's something I'm, I'm putting my eye on. The UI in VR is completely different than UI in, in web design or, or any 2D experience. So that's the, my like kind of my next stop. Uh, right as well wow yeah um that's amazing man you're doing some incredible stuff i uh, can't wait uh, and i love seeing posts you know from creators with what what they're creating what's going on like like today when i saw that post i was like awesome man um so what advice would you give to any aspiring environment artists um who are just starting out in the xr tech industry well, is it uh, advice as technical advice or uh, like kind of like uh, Any, motivational advice? First thing that sticks to you, like a motivational. Okay. Um, for those who, who are experts in building metaverse spaces already, uh, I want you to focus on trim sheets. Uh, trim sheets are just one image that contains several uh, kind of patterns and textures that it can lay over the entire space over and over again. And uh, modularity. <clears throat> you see the video that you're playing right now? Mm -hmm. uh, there is only one quarter of of a column from everything that you see. Like it's, it's one quarter of a column. Right. And when you repeat it and flip it and mirror it over and over and over, it gives you this entire ceiling and and ground and you're counting only one one texture and uh, the same mesh repeating over and over which uh, significantly uh, significantly uh, reduce the file size and make the game more optimizable and it can hold like 100 people or, or even more right so uh, modularity uh, trim sheets reusing textures uh, instantiating objects like the couch it's just one object that's been instantiated uh, using uh, GPU instances. Mm -hmm. And for those who are trying to learn uh, what these stuff means, uh, YouTube, I mean, uh, just just uh, know the, the basic keywords and uh, uh, listen about, uh, about them in, on YouTube and uh, learn. Like I'm self-taught, I don't have a kind of professional advice to give people, but it's just if you really want to do this, uh, it gives you drive, it gives you energy to to create such uh, such immersive worlds, uh, anything that you can dream of. I think it's worth uh, going through the learning. Mm -hmm. Wow, awesome, Moody. Um, you know, something's, something's happened to the stream where it keeps disconnecting and connecting. Um, so I want to like, I want to make sure we, okay, but you know what? We have the full recording, so that's cool. Okay, cool. I can hear you fine, by the way. Yeah, it's just, uh, I was just checking my, my OBS, it, it would disconnect and reconnect. And I was hoping that it wouldn't stop the stream and start a new one. And that's what it's doing. So I'm like, oh man. But luckily I'm recording this whole thing. So we're going to have it on uh, on YouTube anyways. Like the whole full thing. Amazing. Yeah. Man, I love the stuff that you do because you're a community person. You you are a person. Let me, let me give you my opinion about you. You're a person who's trying to learn how to build in Unity. And learning how to uh, create in Blender. And uh, despite all that, you have something that I completely miss, which is gathering people together. 
you see i make the spaces in which uh, they inhabit but you bring them together you dj them you you make parties and interviews and share it and record it and stream it and that's you see it's it's like a big puzzle and each one of us is is doing a part of it from my end i would love to see one of your events uh, being conducted in one of my spaces if yeah. you have an obs streaming link I can I can link this inside the canvas of Mona, so there will be like a huge screen that's nice. uh, streaming your stream inside the metaverse, just like spatial. But I haven't uh, started building on spatial yet. But for now, Mona Monaverse is doing really good. That's dope. Yeah, um, I actually just talked to Two to Max DJ Two to Max, so um, she's ready. She said, "Hey, if you're uh, wherever you're down, I'm down." So, uh, uh, I. I told her, uh, Moody, Met Mo Moniverse, like, right, can you know, you want to rock with me? She's like, I'm down. Let's rock. So, um, amazing. Yeah. Let me play with me avatars and yep, yep. Uh, let me let me set up the stage for you. I'll make a DJ model specifically for you. You know, and place it inside the space because it's really easy. Just drag and drop. Yeah, you know what I really like is, um. I really like when the DJ booth is like in the middle of the dance floor. So like mm -hmm. ra rather than being like a regular like like a festival where the DJ is super far away on a big stage, I like it when like the you're in the crowd, you know, and like maybe it's a, mm -hmm. cir a circular DJ booth that everyone can be around the circle. You know what I mean? Something like that would be cool. Um, but yeah, just I, I will make a dance floor specifically for you, still. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, um, whenever you uh, just pick a date, you know, maybe like something like Christmas, I mean, like December, November, something like that, that would be really cool. And um, with me up, man, I'm always available. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Um, and then thank you so much for everything that you said. I, I appreciate you. Um, you know, I, I was originally, I'm, I mean, I'm, I am a musician, I'm a producer, a recording artist, songwriter, and, uh, uh, and like basically like uh, finding web three really really like after working so hard you know like you 15 years you know working mm -hmm. super hard you know performing in off of youtube like uh in my mom's garage and going live on google hangouts to to go live on youtube you know when youtube barely had a live section yet and i was like uh, I was like, man, if I could do this in the, around the world, that would be so cool. And here we are with the metaverse, you know, and that's what uh, led, exactly. led us to do 145 weeks in a row, um, you know, and uh, 150 is coming up soon. So um, I, I see this and this is this is definitely it. It's going to come a lot faster than we think. And uh, it's incredible. I don't know if you saw about Ready Player Me. They just uh, came out with Player Zero. And so yes. they minted like a whole bunch of stuff on OpenSea, and it's and wearables. Can can we mint wearables our own wearables as well? No, so you you can't do that yet. But see, like it's a business, right? It's a brand. Like mm -hmm. they want to make money too, and like they have investors. So they need to. They're. It's amazing this business model they found because now if you check your your hub, it's gone. You only have the Ready Player Me Studio. So. Um, so the hub is now player zero where mm -hmm. you have to purchase stuff if you want more stuff, you know, um, if you want more, yeah, right. But like, they only, I hope they open it up for creators as well to, oh, yeah. to put their own stuff out there. They have to, that's, that's the key to like, you know, to move the space forward. Um, and yeah, like, and so basically with me doing music and everything, like, I realized like I had no one, no people. So like I was kind of like, like you said, like I can't, I couldn't bring people together or whatever. Like you know, I I had all this music. I got I have forty albums, but mm -hmm. I didn't have any people. So now I'm going. The, the, now here we are, 2.0. But I'm focused on the people and all my friends around me. You know what I mean? Like, let's connect everything. Let's show know exactly. the world. Let's, you know, so I did it the opposite way this time. And now I'm learning Unity, learning Blender, um, just for, you know, just because I'm like, you know what? That's 3.0 for me. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see what happens. Um, and I'm so glad. Well, the keyword key is collaboration, man.
collaboration. We complete each other. Now, now you're focusing on the point that I'm missing, and I, I have endless amount of spaces that can uh, gladly host your parties. Should just uh, hook me up, uh, shoot me a DM anytime, and uh, we, we will make it together. We, we are not just about making money. We, we want to make money. We want to uh, advertise our goods. We want to make a living doing the stuff that we love. But it's not our main uh, priority here. I think I think my priority is about making a difference in the world and uh, leaving a legacy as as, as uh, someone who's early on in the stage uh, was able to to build some kind of world. Yeah, you know, and I think I, that's why we're all here. You know, uh, you know, Ida. Uh, every every creator here, we're here because we're like, whoa. And then we're like, whoa, this could be really big. Like, you know, these are, you know, we're some of the first people to like really be here. And, um, you know, experimenting with the way that we have immersive experiences. So it's uh, it's really, yeah. really exciting. How about, how about a shout out to Ira XR? Yeah. And shout out to Creative Owls and thank Boku. And yeah. Dope Stilo, of course. And oh my God, there are so many people I'm going to forget, but I'm going to say the creative, Pixel Hustler, Memory. Uh, oh my God, the people are so much. And my, my mind will, will definitely forget some. King Kwan, of course, one of my favorites. Uh, Josh uh, Garrett. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, I Love know it. I know people that I wouldn't have known uh, otherwise. It's it's just a community finds you. You don't find your community. You just go to what you love, and and the people that that shows up over and over and over and over again, they're gonna stick in your mind. Mm-hmm. That that's how I love it. Yeah, you know, so I'm a big fan of like architecture. I'm a big fan of uh, unity and everything. So I wanted to ask you, like. How do you, how do you get so detailed with your craft? Um, you know they're visually stunning environments. Um, and could you explain like to us a little bit about how, you know your your inspiration or your creative process? Uh, yes. Again, I start by modeling my own materials. Now this sounds weird, I guess, for most people, but let me break it down. In Blender, you can start modeling very high poly stuff, very detailed stuff. You can use unlimited amount of textures and materials. You can use gold and wood and glass and anything you want. And you can model it with the highest possible uh, poly count to make it really stand out as a detail. Then once you make it repeatable, uh, like you, you make it tileable on one axis or the other, you can repeat it infinitely. So you just need one little right. uh, spot of detail that will then uh, be uh, like tiled uh, on U and V axis. And after that, you uh, you bake it on a plane. You know, the baking process is to take the geometry and convert it into normal maps and height maps and uh, metallic maps and roughness maps and every uh, single material that you used inside your trim sheets will eventually be baked as one texture one texture set one pbr texture set so uh, maybe i can i can share uh, if i can share my screen let me let me let me know if you can see it or oh, i'm unable to are you on anyway the- I wanted to show you I wanted to show you that one texture can create an entire space right one material wow. and then you just make half of half of the model of a quarter of the model and then you mirror it and repeat mm. it and so you can uh, virtually have unlimited details uh, within unlimited space I love that. it's just Maybe I need to make like a workshop around it, but I'm not. Uh, That's very beautiful. Much sure yeah, you should definitely you should definitely create a YouTube video on that. Um, I definitely understand the theory because now you're just using like ten different objects f- multiplied by infinity, and it's exactly. only ten objects. I love that. 
and and you and then and then uh, uh, the trim sheet itself is consisting of four million triangles, and have like ten or twenty uh, different materials with four K textures. See, that's huge. But then you can bake it. Once you bake it, it will just be one plane will contain all that, mm -hmm. just four vertices, two triangles, one face. And that contains everything you already baked on that model. So then you make a, a very low poly model. And once you wrap it with these details, it looks uh, exactly as it should, including the height and bumps and, and reflectiveness and emission, uh, emissiveness and how things look. You can, you can just keep looking at, uh, at the work I did and you will you'll figure it out. You'll see that's just repeated textures and, and models. Wow. Awesome. Um, I can tell that you have so much experience, so much value. You've definitely put in like 10,000 hours plus. Um, really interesting how our paths have crossed. Um, how do you see the role of environment like of uh 3d builders within the landscape of ai particularly um and like technologies that are coming well um if if you don't have a keen eye for 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 creating moods and and styles and themes uh, then you can ask like a thousand AI or even one AI to create everything for you, but it's not going to be as optimized as you would made it yourself, knowing every number, every zero and one. And also uh, AI, uh, like again, if you don't have the keen eye for making uh, themed environments, then you will have just a, a big blob of random objects that uh, the colors are not coherent, the... Uh, serenity and architecture maybe it will design an architecture building for you but it's not going to match the ground or the uh, secondary props or whatever even if you can prompt it with images like it, it still have some to go and right now there are new uh, nerf uh, resources that that lets you create entire optimized worlds using one image that's the uh, the, the nerf. Oh right, I've seen that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. The nerf is, is like a gush on splattering. Uh, oh my god, I I forgot how it's called. That's it's insane, called. dude. That one is a mind blowing one. Imagine you just put like the craziest picture of like you know the Sahara, and then all of a sudden it's like boop made. Exactly, and it's not that I'm against AI. Okay, so. I use AI every day. Yeah. Uh, it helps me write. It helps me create music. Okay. Any kind of music I want. It helps me um, create podcasts. Uh, write code. <laughs> write code. Yeah. yeah. And podcasts. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and stuff like that that I'm not uh, quite have the time to or the energy to spend on. Yeah, it. dude. So it helps me in what I don't know how to do. So it, it would be selfish if I if I wish that AI would not. Uh, develop one day to be able to create what I do because I want people to do it as well even if they don't have the necessary skills mm -hmm. just like I enjoy making music when I don't have uh, the necessary skills to create music you see so that that's me impostering your own niche and maybe in the future you will be able to use an AI to create my own niche and everyone will be whole everyone will will truly express it's it's eventually about expressing who you are and what you want to see in the world yeah um i agree and what so uh obviously the metaverse is in its early stages um you know we're in a balance between uh a, a big shift what what experiences have you had um like uh, in the metaverse that have uh, uh, like just stuck in your mind um, that you could share with us because uh, like for me I've gone to uh, like a, a, a festival 
and then we all went on a hike after. It was on, on an island with a big mountain, and then we just all walked up this big mountain. Somewhere in VR, somewhere on their phone, somewhere on the desktop. But here I am, like, going up this mountain in VR, and I'm, like, looking around, and and there's people dancing like ants, like, they're, you know, because they're little black dots on the dance, on the beach down there when we all go up to the top. And um, there's a house up there, you know, a beautiful house with a pool, and, a, wow, and a view, and so... There, you know, that's an experience I'll never forget. I remember playing Among Us in VR chat. Um, that, yeah. That was so much fun, you know, yeah. uh, trying to guess who the murderer was and everyone's in VR and we're just like going through and pretending you're not the murderer. It's and then they, yeah, they turn yeah. around and whap. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. So uh, I, last memory is like, I remember my friend was like, yo, Stilo, there's this there's a crazy party right now. You have to come. Hurry, hurry. So I run to my computer and I put my VR on and I and she sends me the link. I get in there and it was just like the craziest techno, like dope, dope techno and deep house. And everyone was going crazy. People were driving in circles like they like the space was red and like post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. alien ship with like aliens hangling in like tubes yeah different fates and different oh moods and different experiences yes. so let me tell you about experiences uh please I, I i am as guilty as george that i don't explore and and uh, attend metaverse uh, experiences more often as i should uh, because I'm, I'm more focusing on creating the experience rather than experiencing it but let me tell you about the uh, Web3 uh, 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 Leaders uh, Summit that nice. was made by Creative House. You were there as one of the speakers, and uh, I was there, uh, like, I think first time on, on, on Spatial for me was that day. Mm. And uh, this, this uh, actually, like, the most amount of people I've ever seen on a metaverse space. And in this experience, I said, oh, my God, the future that I already looking for, yeah. that I dreamed of long ago is already here. And here I am in another solar system, another realm yeah. entirely. And there are same people doing uh, same activities. So, uh, yeah, what I'm looking for to create, the experience that I want people to have is uh, serene, immersive worlds. Uh, Narrative-driven gameplay. Uh, well, simple mechanics like moving platforms, uh, collecting coins, uh, having uh, some sort of uh, mini compacts where you have to defeat some creature in order to, to continue moving forward in the space, and uh, focus in exploration and and puzzle solving, and uh, yeah, environmental themes and storytelling. So these these are the experience I would like to uh, like. If if Great. you ask me, what would be the most experience that would give you uh, an awe to, to to experience? Then I will start describing stuff that would give me that right. And uh, yeah, nice. There's so much to talk about. Yeah. My mind suddenly stopped. Me, I, for me, like, um, like uh, metaverse experiences with people is, I think that's the magic, you know. So if you could do like multi multiplayer, you know, like that is something I would go to. Like, I wouldn't want to go and play a game really like every day in VR because. But that's just me, cause I I I'm I have so much going on. But like, yeah. I, but if I, you have a group of friends and it, you went fishing yeah. in the metaverse, you went hunting monsters yes, together. Yes. yes. Yeah. That, that's now, the next now step. We're it's coming. We're talking. It's coming. Multiplayer, multiplayer gameplay yeah. on the metaverse, and it's doable right now because. Uh, you, using visual scripting, you can add uh, a score system, you can add coins and stuff to collect, and uh, timers and uh, enemies and damage and health. 
and all kind of stuff that we just create what we would like to experience again uh, it's game but it's social it's not uh, single player anymore it's not even multiplayer in the sense that you create a room and invite friends it's a multiplayer in sense of an open world that always exists and whoever goes there anytime will continue playing and continue scoring up and th that's the true vision of the metaverse if you ask me but yeah. uh, i think we're almost there yeah uh people are doing it together you know yeah yeah um huge 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 uh fan of those experiences it was like so much fun uh i i couldn't believe it um so what was i gonna say the metaverse the metaverse ah so it was really interesting like the metaverse like um we want to know like you know we we obviously you know want to be triple a experience we want to have triple a graphics we want to have like the best gameplay experience possible why do you think like triple a games are so far ahead do you think it's because of like the massive team and money behind it obviously compared to like um individuals definitely on yeah spatial and moniverse and creating their own unity projects well for your information it's not it's not just one man gang like they say it's uh, the, it takes a huge amount of effort and money and team and working hours to craft just one experience avoid from any gameplay or any connectivity or any multiplayer so just just because we were talking about th that that we individual people can do it by our own right now uh, doesn't mean it, it like we have explored the full potential yet Big companies, I hope they come. I hope they, they start making something usable for us because we will enjoy it uh, before else, before anything else. So the AAA stuff are, are being... Uh, part of it is, is uh, Ready Player Me. Part of it is Spatial. Part of it is Mona. And the people and, and, and all that, these, these are individual efforts. But I think uh, if, if we have uh, some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, AAA studio, uh, they will definitely be able to pull something like that because the tools are already there. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, it's a matter of time. Well, I want to thank you so much, Moody. It was great having a chat thank with you. you. We should do this again sometime soon. Uh, I just Definitely. Got, Definitely. Yeah, I just got one last question. Um, I want to know what legacy you hope to leave behind through your work as an artist, Moody. My work itself. Nice. It'll, it'll, live, it'll, it'll live forever, huh? I hope so, yeah, on the blockchain. Uh you can mint these words as NFTs in, the, uh, in itself. So uh, a good thing about Mona is that once you build a space, you can mint it and itself will be an Ethereum asset. And so from the back end of the dashboard of Mona, you can just uh, change uh, the links to the canvas inside the space, yeah. uh, the images on the canvas. So you're, you're like having this gallery and you can showcase as a wallet uh, showcase for your NFTs that you have, mm -hmm. whether it's JPEG, video, uh, film, three, whatever. So yeah, uh, very very bright future and very dangerous as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> um, 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 I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, live forever. Yeah. Okay. Live forever. Blockchain. Well, <laughs> yeah, blockchain. Um, okay, well, thank you so much, you guys, and thank you for being here. I know we had a little bit of problems with the stream, so uh, thank you so much for bearing with us. But we got the full recording, went all the way through. You can find it awesome. at, on YouTube. Uh, I'll send you the link, Moody. Thank you so much, everybody. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Stilo. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.